एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थर्ड जुलाई द बिग इवेंट द बिग फेस्टिवल इज ओवर इनफैक्ट कपल ऑफ फ्रेंड्स एक्चुअली आस्ट वेन इज पार्ट टू वेर द अदर ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टेट अदर इंडस्ट्रीज विल बी डिस्कस्ड दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग द बजट इज ओवर फॉर द ईयर आई विल सी द एफ एम फॉर द बजट रीजन नेक्स्ट फेब्रवरी वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई लॉट ऑफ बिग मिनिस्ट्रीज एंड डिसीजन वर नॉट टेबल्ड इन द बजट टूडे इज दैट एवरीथिंग विच इज टेबल्ड इन द बजट is a finance bill and has to be approved by lok sabha and rajya sabha both in the budget session of the parliament that will take time that will need discussions it's a coalition government so perhaps some decisions will be taken later on by ministries one thing i want to clear is about ltcg stcg a lot of people are overly worrying about it suppose you invest 1 lakh in both years in the markets and earn 15% from that money now as per previous tax rate if it was stcg you would pay 2250 If it is LTCG, you would pay fifteen hundred. As per the new formula, you will pay three thousand. You will pay eighteen seventy five. It was LTCG. The ratio of STCG to your investment was two point three percent earlier, which has changed by point seven percent now three percent. LTCG one point five percent has become one point nine percent. So don't worry too much. It is not a big difference. You just have to earn point three percent, point five percent more. Inch this number to fifteen point five, perhaps as your expectation or target, and you will be good. Today I have added a new section which is called fear and greed. So I will not talk too much about that text part. I will demonstrate that part. Let me know in comments what you think about the overall concept. I will also talk about one result, MRPL, and a stock index hint. My views on it. Nifty huge fluctuations, but it does not look like a budget day chart to me at all. Bank Nifty was down a percent. That's primarily because HDFC Bank was down 1.5 percent, ICICI all and SBI also corrected a lot. Nifty IT was up 0.7 percent. It will continue to be in demand. FI is sold but not much. DI is bought but not much. Energy was down. Next 50 was down. Defense was down severely because of the reduction in duties. Gold and silver corrected severely. 5 percent cut in gold. 4.5 percent cut in silver. Now there are two philosophies here. One camp is saying this is a bad move because gold imports will increase. We are encouraging that, so rupee will go down. The second part is a lot of gold is imported, say from Dubai or something illicitly right now because of the price difference, slight only. That will go down. Legal gold will be bought in India and there will be GST on it. So overall, whatever is the cut in the import duty here. that will translate into gst now this however will put a lot of people into trouble because many people have bought gold seeing it go up i am one of them but lot of people have suddenly lost 5 6% in their investments in metal this may not reflect in the pricing of sgb however most people buy sgb for long term so now if you try to buy the sgb you were trying to buy yesterday it will not be cheaper by 5% us markets have not opened yet they were all green yesterday for a change in terms of indian market itc was on fire today 6.5% up this is comical market is celebrating because taxes on cigarettes were not increased if you ask a smoker the cigarette prices when they go up because of budget the cigarette companies actually increase the prices more than the tax number the sales will remain same profit will remain same in fact itc will not be able to pass on the increased pricing to the customers unless they increase the prices of the cigarettes without a duty hike lnt was a victim of the expectations 3% down rains continued the slide 1% down more a couple of quick inputs supreme industry see downgrades reduce targets as q1 profit misses estimates most people would tend to sell the stock after that net profit marked a 26.83% rise from 2154 crore in the same quarter last year this is year on year during the quarter company saw 11.3% increase in revenue from operations international brokerage has slashed down the target to 6520 from 6700 what is the price right now 5509 where is the bad news 5509 still going to 6520 that's a 20% upside i was disappointed because i bought supreme recently but i have no clue who created this headline and why indescent without anyone noticing has suddenly approached the 52 week low 
it is about 40 points away so it is suddenly looking very interesting to me i'll analyze it more i might add it to my portfolio for the long term now mrpl shares drop over 4% after q1 profit eroded grms down 4.7 per barrel mrpl recorded highest ever crude processing volume highest ever atf dispatch achieved in may 2024 june also marked a record for the highest crude processed in that month revenue there is a drop q1 q year on year there is increase now in the case of banks we were dancing because the year on year numbers were looking good here we are sulking because q1 q numbers have dropped cost of materials has gone up this probably means two things to me one is that the crude is being bought at market price which has gone up in the q1 but because of elections the prices domestically were not increased for nearly two or three months so higher price was not passed to the consumer and was absorbed as a cost by the company second a windfall tax was announced just before the election dates now to be internationally competitive probably windfall tax was absorbed in the price lowering the overall margins that is why the margin per barrel has gone down significantly still q1 q total expenses remained same in check now profit and loss before tax was 108 crore it dropped from 1767 crore last quarter and 1560 crore previous quarter what is the point of leaving windfall tax on profit there is no profit also if you see the borrowings have dropped 12451 has become 11831 debt to equity ratio also has improved so a bit of debt has been paired and perhaps the payment has been passed on as a cost next quarter none of the factors i mentioned will be applicable so results will probably catch up chart wise nearly every chart is a funnel everything had a synchronized fall remember i talked about people crashing the market that happened at precisely this point during the budget speech and there was a v-shape recovery within 10 to 15 minutes hdfc was a little off in timing the vic shot up at this time and then came down same pattern in all large banks this is what i meant in yesterday's video on how the positions can be used to put large sell orders in multiple stocks at the same time rfc got a special treatment five percent because there was no announcement for rails now actually i think this is a good move for irfc per se and there is nothing wrong for rvnl either no one said that the railways will stop expanding or stop the modernization drive the only thing is budget is not carrying extraordinary support for those projects so railways will have to raise the money to give to rvnl and that will be done by irfc public will pay in terms of tickets that's a typical capitalist cycle same with power finance who is saying that the power business will go down we will continue to build that infrastructure we will need more power government did not say we will produce less power this year defense stocks same thing the defense budget was lowered but that was increased for the interim budget only what was the expectation now hl already has a seven to eight year backlog they haven't even delivered the first tejas yet they have about 70 80 to deliver the shipping companies will still receive the order that will be given by defense ministry the union budget does not say that give this order to Musgaon dock or shipping corporation all that is a decision which will be taken by defense ministry there will be tenders issued all that will take three months time everyone wanted to exit so volumes were high and worse think of people who bought here and then sold here out of panic nothing different in metals same v it was there in all large stocks here also everything down on good volumes now unless we are getting into a slowdown i don't think the metal pack will go down international prices especially the steel prices are more driven by china demand so that may get impacted but that has nothing to do with the budget railway stocks cracked i already mentioned irfc rvnl are they getting lesser projects i don't think so it sector while the results i have found to be bad this will grow am i buying no persistent was up in today's market also energy sector ntpc was up rest nearly everything was down the oil pack crash first this is the nifty fear and greed graph today as per the graph it is 74 percent in fear that reflects in the breadth 16 sectors up out of 36 
this number was 28 yesterday the biggest contributions came from food and tobacco textiles that is primarily because of titan going up and titan is a gold stock personal and household products software the lagards no surprises banking oil and gas automobile thankfully did not have a bad day volumes were high this perhaps has to do with the fact that people are now expecting rural to pick up a bit coal india was down this has no relation to the budget coal india already has a lot of mandate to mine coal it is not able to increase the capacity to the level which the country wants there is nothing needed from the budget for this lnt significant orders come from outside india the current quarter and the previous quarter are weak because of the weak government spending the results will be bad also next quarter which is q2 also results will not be that good that is because government is not spending this is related to elections not budget irb i don't think the government will build less roads we will need cement if we do anything so cement pack was up dmart knows that the consumption is going up 1% up itc tata consumer were up 4 and 1/2 and 5 and 1/2% the sector was fine home building does not see any impact the sector was up spending will increase household goods celebrated nothing for insurance there was a build up happening this sector might correct more now there are some changes in stt but that does not impact the investment banks they have to pass on the money they collect to the government siemens abb their order book will probably swell only it will take a month just like lnt orders are right now on hold so don't expect good results this quarter or next quarter the consumption pack was dancing today pharma was doing fine titan page industries were up now just a glimpse this is the data that i have used to create the fear and greed index it consists of many parameters including the 52 week high lows the current stock price breadth today pcr which is the put call ratio peg not pe giving a overall score which is weighted the biggest weight is on 52 week performance if the stock is near 52 week high then it is bullish and if the price goes up further then it goes into greed and extreme greed zone based upon market cap all of these scores combined give the nifty fear and greed graph this is the column i have added in nifty 50 the negative number lnt is in fear zone it fell a lot today it is away from the 52 week high so if you believe in this stock as an investor then fear is good for investors next is bajaj finance but then you have to factor in geo finance if it's a real competitor for the stock this zone translates to the zone of greed the stock which is in the highest greed right now is itc 52 week high extreme bullishness the pe is high but peg is not reflecting growth next is titan which went up a lot today the volumes were extremely high for everything which is in the greed zone overall 27 stocks down 23 up next 50 30 stocks down 20 up so not good market breadth there was no stock in low volume zone today what did i do today i did nothing <laughs> vbl actually i bought yesterday i forgot to mention yesterday i tried a very very small trade in options just trying to scalp it gave me loss and i exited and i didn't try again but throughout the day i was building the fear and greed index and doing a bit of more automation observing the markets i intend to stay out maybe a day or two more also so i first want to see where the markets are heading i think normalcy will return soon 1 lakh to 1.25 lakh is waiting on the sidelines with tiis so every fall will probably be bought into this may become sector and stock specific also in one week's time new money will come in people will get salaries so if you are actually not in front of the tv and if you ignore the news flow the budget was actually a non event it will be bau for most companies most sector the stt changes are good for the options trader for the simple reason i think it will reduce a bit of the trading in the market which is done on very penny charges a lot of this is algorithmic trading just wait for 2 rupees 3 rupees up and just put the order so once the charges of these kind of things will go up that will bring some sanity into fno option specific so in my opinion it is not a revenue generation move it is a move to get some sanity into the market let me know in the comment section what is your opinion on the budget if there is any question i'll try and answer thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow